In this video, I'm gonna give you four tips for Wing Chun chain punching. So chain punching, okay, very, very important because it's not only about punching, it's about chaining your attacks. Chaining your attacks from this to this, right? Boom, 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 right? Turning these into a onslaught of, of an attack, just like a machine gun. Very, very difficult to stop once it's already in motion and and uh, you have your grounding and you have their center and not getting, giving it away. So the four tips for Wing Chun chain punching. Number one, hit the same spot every time, okay? So if you're here, right, hitting the same spot, hitting the same spot. So if I'm going this way, get in a mirror. Look at the same spot the whole time and make sure you're hitting it every single time. Number two is trade places, replacement of those. Now when we trade places, we need position and timing to be correct in order to actually hit those positions at the exact same time. When this hits, this Wu Sao, this represents the asking or the forward hand. This is the back hand. These hands must hit their positions at the exact same time. This cannot trail and then catch up. So what does that mean? That really means that this one that's getting out of the way must start first. Yes. Because since it's going a longer distance than this one, which is going straight and direct. straight and direct. So you, the forward hand that, that comes from the Wu Sao hand goes straight and direct, straight and direct. It does not go around. The biggest reason you can't go straight and direct or people think they're doing it is because they haven't gotten this hand cleared right. down and out of the way enough in order to make so the, Wu the punching hand. The, the Wu hand has to start first because it's traveling further. Mm -hmm. So that's, so they haven't got this out of the way by the time they replace. Right. Okay. Right. You want to live on the freeway. And when I say live on the freeway, you want both of your fists living along the freeway. So for instance, if I'm looking this way, I want both of my fists living on that freeway as much as I possibly can. I want one of my elbows dominating very close to that freeway as well. The other elbow does not have to be. It is over here. So this is a common mistake a lot of people do in the beginning. They think, oh, well, I have to keep my elbows always in between me and them. Well, there's different ways to look at that and understand. You want one elbow along that central plane or pretty close to it along the quarter line. You want the other elbow behind the other wrist. Okay. What does that mean? That means you're still driving with the elbow, right? It's coming, it's it's coming still, through the center, yeah. You're still fighting, actually, so when your energy comes out, you are fighting, you're driving from that elbow. So you are still, in essence, the, uh, depending on how you look at it, but you're fighting from behind that elbow. Right. Right, so if somebody pushes me, if you push into me here, yeah. I can still drive you back because it's still elbow driven. So it's, yeah, you're you know, I'm fighting from behind my elbow even though my elbow is back here. So you can look at it two ways. One, energetically, fighting energetically yeah. from it, but also positionally fighting from you behind the elbow too. So you're gonna try to get you're gonna try to get this in as close to here. As yes. That's what you mean by right here. Yeah. That's what I mean by 
living on the freeway. And I call the freeway this line, this central plane between your center and my center. So when we're here, we don't want to be over here right. because clearly this is not on the freeway. Yeah. So if you can't get your elbow in, do your best with where you can get your elbow, but the other hand needs to still be on the freeway. For me, I place it here as a guide yeah, because my elbow can get in here. But if your elbow is out further, then at least just keep your wrists square on that central plane. As you stretch and get more, then you'll be able to get in more, and that's that's fine. Everybody has, you know. Because you don't have four lanes like I do. You got one. <laughs> I've got so, four lanes. I got a toll road. I got a off off ramp. <laughs> I got a bunch of a, lanes. a few different lanes. There's, so, so these are the four um, the four tips for chain punching. And the reason, obviously, that you're taking this spot away from me with your with your fists, your your position, mm -hmm. is so I can't. Oh yeah, yeah. you go forward into me. Yeah, and I can't. Well, I've just deflected you simultaneously and as now coming through. And hit. This yeah. is the most efficient way. When we call it the freeway, it's representing the most direct and efficient path between one person to another. Uh, because we're coming directly, and the saying in Wing Chun, punches come from the heart. What's that meaning? What that means physically is that you're punching directly from the center to their center, directly into the center there, right? Not, yes, not this. Punches in Wing Chun don't come from the outside. So you see some people doing this type of thing, that is not, that's not a chain punch. The chain punch goes, lives on the freeway, which is that central plane, the vertical plane, many different, the most efficient line between you and, and them. So you're simultaneously defending and attacking. If you're here and you then defend me from coming into your center, you've then given me another line for me to take because you've crossed, oh, right. right? So when we're, when initially, when we're talking about hitting the same spot, oh, I'm hitting the same spot no matter what. You stop me, right? Oh, you're still right? the same spot. You're the one crossing, <laughs> not me. Yeah. Right? Which everyone's <laughs> got to do at first, because everybody else does, because they're not precise. They're not. They're not as precise as they want to be. Most people are not. So now, if some, this this is um, obviously not an attack question, but the other person that's that's trying to get to your center that can't, they're just going to have to use a different line to get in there in that case because I mean if it's yes. taken it's taken yes yeah if there's a bridge the most efficient path and this is the bridge the freeway is right here and I'm living on the freeway yeah you have to try to take another path yeah and the other another path is less efficient right so then that makes you know side that, streets are always unknown yes yeah, side <laughs> streets you know you've got all kinds of things coming in There's right neighbors coming yeah, out yeah, of houses parked cars and you know and it's just not as direct as taking this freeway straight there yeah it's you know it's just not it's slower it takes longer yep. right so that's the long way this is the quick the, the quick fast way as we you know as you as you go so no rerouting on the GPS no re let them reroute <laughs> right as they reroute yes. then you know if uh, let's say I'm already there mm -hmm. right and you're trying to go through there okay so go ahead and try to go through Yep. Okay, it doesn't work. Yeah, it have to. Right? Do. You have to, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now you're already <laughs> swiping. And now yeah. on chain punches, usually the chain punches go on top. Yeah. But we also have options underneath. to come underneath too. <laughs> that would be, so yeah. you can have a, you know, you can have that underneath. I'm glad that you showed that because that was, that was my next question. Is when do they, when do they come underneath, I guess? When, when it's easiest. It's, when it's easiest. When it's easiest. <laughs> yeah. Right? When it's easiest to come, the path of least resistance is always Wing Chun, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but the way we start our training in Wing Chun is one on top of the other, right? Mm -hmm. You get good at that, so I'm usually referring to that here. Yep. But you get good at that, then we do the reverse Chung Toy or reverse chain punching, which is basically underneath. So now, as you do the reverse, you've got to get the hand that's finished punching out of the way for the other one. So this one has to raise and come back. 
so that the asking hand, the one that's going from Wu Sao into the punch, is always straight and direct. Right? So, yep. and so the um, same thing on the these, these four tips remain true throughout reverse chain punching as well. Or over the top. And so and so in that case it's also the Wu hand is the one that's gonna start a little bit first, even in the reverse, right? Well, the not the Wu hand that starts first. It's the one that's already finished punching. So oh, yeah. that is oh, the, that's the, the hand that's well. Yeah. That's the hand that's coming to the Wu. So right. maybe that's what you meant, right? Yeah. Coming to the Wu. The hand that's finished here and returning. So the returning Wu yes. has to start first because it's got to go a longer distance. It's going round. Gotcha. Right? Very cool. Cool. Damn. Swing Chun stuff.